New tonight at 5 for you. It is a tradition the Forest Service has used for more than a century horseback riding. The animals are important in helping get some difficult jobs accomplished. Your report on the mountain, Spencer Wilson, explains how they get employees ready to ride through whatever comes their way. The U.S. Forest Service has three levels of horsemanship training. This is just the beginner course, but eventually as these riders progress, they'll head out into the woods for the intermediate and expert course. And they have to be ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let him make the first decision. I'm gonna Cars, trucks, and ATVs simply won't cut it where they need to go. We have 2.3 million acres of land that we manage for the White River National Forest. Now choke up on your rain. 55% of it is uh, wilderness and roadless. And so we need these animals to get where we're going. It's more than learning commands today. It's about learning the body language and trust between these horses and mules and their riders and how they work together. We're using them as a tool to get a job done, but um, you can't turn the key off on, on one of these and put them away for the evening. Um, they're a living being and they've got their own personalities and their own um, kind of quirks. And, and so, yeah, trying to find that communication and that partnership with your horse is going to make him want to go to work as much as you do. And sure, it takes a little getting used to compared to other methods of transportation. Car's much easier to steer. <laughs> but it's our best option when there's no road. Otherwise, you're just hiking in. Can't get into to check our land and to monitor our usage and our impacts from the public and from the permittees without them. So. They're a very important tool for us. These guys can get our rangers and scientists 20 miles into the wilderness and then back out too. A distinctly Western, dare I say, Coloradan tradition. It is us. I mean, that's how we explored the West in Colorado. The miners came first and the, then the folks brought the cattle to feed the miners and it's part of our heritage here. Absolutely, it's an important part of our identity, our culture and our heritage here in Colorado. Today marks the end of the three-day training here, but it doesn't mark the end of training for these folks overall. They'll jump back on these horses throughout the years that they are working for the Forest Service in order to make sure that they're up to snuff on their safety, as well as being able to maneuver those guys when they get out into the woods. In Rifle, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer is your reporter in the mountains. He's covered stories in Walden, Vail, Winter Park, Georgetown, and A Basin recently. If you have a story idea for him to check out in our high country, reach out to him through our website, cbscolorado.com. Some students in Aurora got.